<laughs> we got a dog seal of approval over here. This is Jet Dog. This is Mr. Spleen. This is the guy that last year we had an emergency with, with the uh, poop that saved his life. And if we hadn't found the poop and watched the video camera footage, we wouldn't have ever known that he had a uh, cancer tumor that was ready to explode. Um, got him into emergency surgery. And uh, that was last July. And uh, we removed his spleen along with the cancer tumor. And uh, so far, so good. We, I always keep a watchful eye on him, though. He's a great dog. He's my favorite of the three right now because he's dog one. Um, I love all three of them the same though, but this one sleeps on my lap all the time and he's just my therapy dog. Anyways, the, uh, the rantings of an old geezer. We all have seen this mess before. This is the uh, 1970 Datsun 521 that came into my possession last year that uh, has had a, at least the frame has been done. The engine's been done. No, bud, come on, get down. You're great. You're great, but you're you're stealing the show. Anyways, um, yeah, he uh, yeah, this is a great dog. So yeah, this truck came into my possession last year. I traded my Xterra for it, and we're now a little bit uh, deeper into the project. And uh, this is where I've decided to uh, wage the first salvo is getting this addressed. Two videos, three videos ago, you saw that I purchased the rocker panels from uh, Redux or Redo Garage up in Canada. Those are great. Um, obviously, we're going to have to trim them to accommodate the situation that's going on in here. It's not looking pretty. Here, watch out, buddy. Um, not looking pretty here, at least. We've got some serious, uh, serious mung going on. <laughs> it's not looking... Uh, it's not great. So I'm going to try and cut all this out. Uh, this cab corner over here is very munged. Uh, not very good. This whole... The other side is not that not bad. This side is, is bad. Um, the other side is a little bit here, but it's addressable. This side, I decided to reach out to uh, Eduardo Munoz. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I've purchased a lot of things from this guy in the past, a few things at least, uh, some uh, engine parts and uh, some grill pieces and everything. And, and now Blue is here to, to approve the video too. Blue is my congestive heart failure dog. He is a, uh, he's a sweetheart, but he is worse than a car payment uh, when it comes to medication and everything. But uh, yeah, you've seen him on the video before. So... Eduardo sent me this from California, Cali as they like to say, at Ratson, um, or uh, what I would call the uh, the butthole of the world, or butthole USA. Uh, <laughs> that's going to get a flag, but at least we're three minutes into the video and I can say that. Uh, I sent uh, Eduardo uh, this picture with the blue tape on it showing where I want the corner to be cut, and he gave me a little extra, sent it in a box, and now this piece of the puzzle is now residing in New York State. You can see it was uh, that cool Datsun blue before somebody spray painted it or whatever they did to turn it green. Uh, hi, blue. Um, so we're going to have to start getting cutting at some point. The box is going to have to come off the truck. Um, the box doesn't need anything. The box just needs to be sanded. It's, uh, it's that, you know, uh, bare metal frosted over kind of thing which I'm going to do some 320 grit on it and go through it and then get it in primer. When the weather's getting better, we'll pull this thing out so I can sand it outside and not make a terrible, terrible mess. And besides, if I do sand it, I am going to want to prime it like almost immediately because I'm not in a controlled environment, so it will definitely frost back over probably within a half hour of the me finishing everything. Um, so in the meantime, I reached out to one of the BOCES automotive schools, um, to see if that's something that they'd be this part of it would be something they'd be interested in tackling we'll lift the cab right off of the uh the frame watch yourself, watch yourself blue. careful we'll lift the cab right off the frame because it's not even bolted on put it on a trailer take it over to whoever wants to do it um if nobody wants to do it then it's me drilling out spot welds <laughs> so um i might be able to do it i don't know i'm gonna have to figure all that out because it's uh 
not really my expert uh, area of expertise. I'm really kind of more of a, a junkyard hack and slash kind of guy. This is a lot more meticulous, and I would like to do this properly uh, so at least it doesn't look terrible. The paint job is not going to be a million-dollar paint job, but there definitely is work that is needed to be done. Um, and so uh, i got to find the right, right person to do it, I suppose. But now we have the windshield, we have the back glass, we have the cab corner, we have the dashboard. Um, the only thing that I'm I got to deal with is getting doors, but I think the doors will be the last part of the whole project because I can take care of everything in the cab, get everything going in the cab, cab primed, cab painted, box primed, back box painted, everything back together, bolted on, running, and then because these doors are not electric and have really no uh, they can go on at any time. I can run it with no doors just to drive it up and down the road once the time comes. But everything, the doors can be last. I can prime and paint the doors at any time after that. I'm probably looking at West Coast um, because these doors are just as nasty as the rocker panels are on this side. And the outside leaves a lot to be desired. It looks like somebody did a patch panel on it at some point, and uh, that's starting to come undone as well. And the fact that with it being a 65 door, it is not going to uh, bolt or not going to close properly with the with the 71 striker. It's been suggested to just drill different holes, but I don't want to drill holes into the cab that far because the sheet metal is really the higher up you go the better the cab gets. It gets, you know, excellent. <laughs> it's just down here that's terrible. Um, leave me a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're going to take a break from this particular project uh, monetarily so we can get back on Double Dare, and I would like to get Crew Cab 370Z roadworthy. So I'm going to direct some of my funds into that. Um, oh, and one last thing. Um, I think the slots are going to be the wheel of choice on this thing. I really do like the way they complement it. So uh, look forward to that in the future. I've got four of these. They're 15 by 9, I believe. So they're going to be wides. Um, like, share, and subscribe. This is my 1970 Datsun 521 project. See ya!